Hello, welcome to Writing Quest. My name is Brendan Pugh. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use my storybook, master novelist, notion template, and adjust some of the databases for a new type of story structure. It's currently built around the three act story structure, but I want to show you how you can pretty easily change some things around so that you can adjust it for a different type of story structure, if that's what you'd like to do. Huzzah! All right, so here we are inside of storybook master novelist so this is what it looks like when you first open it up in the dashboard view then we have the brainstorm view we have the outline view we have world building and then we have the right view this is a demo version that i've done a few things in before but it works just like the one that you can get from the website so um, don't worry about anything that might be a little out of place it's just some stuff i've been messing around with so all right, so we are going to go over, I'm going to show you how, so this is originally built around the 3x story structure, as I said in the intro, so I'm going to show you how you can adjust it for a new type of story structure. Um, so we're going to just go into the outline section. Actually, let's go over to brainstorm quick. Make sure we don't. So nothing in the dashboard and brainstorm area has anything to do with the 3x story structure. So it, it's not until you get to the outline section where you'll see this. So here, actually, we'll move book two up to outline, and that will put it into our three-act story structure here. So right here, I have act one, act two, act three. So this is just three different views, and all I've done is in the database that these are in, I have the hook and citing incident. These are all just text boxes. OK, and then all I've done with the views is like this view only shows these ones. This view only shows these and then act three only shows act three. So the only thing you have to do and keep in mind, this will change it for every single book like this will change it for the whole template, but it's still really easy to do. All you have to do is just rechange what this is. So let's say we wanted to change this to use Dan Harmon's story circle. So Dan Harmon's story circle doesn't really have acts. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna show you, actually the way we could do this, if you really want to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave these here and I'm gonna show you how we can make, I'm gonna show you two ways we can do it. I'm gonna show you how you can adjust what's originally here and then I'm gonna show you how we can make a new view with new um, text boxes for this new story structure. So if you want to just change what these are, so let's go to the Dan Harmon story structure, so or story circle. So in act one, all you do is just change the name of this. So this is zone of comfort is the first one. And then we're going to go to inciting incident. We're going to call that the second one, but they want something. And then you're going to go to the third one. They enter an unfamiliar situation. And so on and so forth. So that's literally all you do. You can just do that. Um, if you have, like, if you wanted to do the four act story structure, then you would just add the text boxes in. You would add another view, and then you'd add new text boxes, which I'll show you here in a second. So let's say we wanted to leave this all the same. So just command Z back. We want to leave this all the same, but we want to add a new view with a different story structure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that little plus button that creates me a new view. And we are going to call this the, we're going to call this the Dan Harmon story circle. Very simple. We're going to go to properties and we're going to hide all of them. So we're going to get rid of everything. So we're going to filter this by status and we're going to filter it for outline. So this will show us only the ones in the, that are labeled outline. And then we'll hide that. We will hide the database title. And now all you have to do is you can just add in new text boxes. So let's go here and we'll go to properties. We will click new property. We're going to do a text box and we're going to call this zone of comfort. And then we will add another one. So we hit enter with this plus button again. We're going to do a text box. We're going to call this, but they want something and so on. You just keep adding them in all your new text boxes. And what's really cool is you still have your act one, act two, act three, but then you also have the Dan Harmon story circle. And so you just have another view. If you want to do other ones, you can add another view and we can call this the, I don't know, um, the four act story structure. So you can do say act one, but you call this the four act you know, to label it different and so on and so forth. And then you filter it by outline, add in your text boxes, whatever you want. 
Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that this video was helpful to you. If you haven't checked out Storybook Master Novelist, please do. There's a link down in the description below. Use WQ15 off your purchase. If you're unsure about it, if you don't even know what Notion is, I have a ton of videos on my channel, so make sure to check those out. Also linked in the description below. I personally think that Notion is one of the best tools that writers can use. It's awesome for creating these custom databases to kind of do whatever you want with. And I'm just, I really think that it's a tool that not enough writers are using. If you liked what you saw, make sure you check out some of my other videos on Notion. I will link them here or here or somewhere on the screen. Check those out and make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to message me, email. That's all down below, all that stuff. So love to hear from you. Thanks for watching this episode of Writing Quest and I'll see you next time. Huzzah!